Today, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. That's Ohasu. <laughs> Welcome to my cooking channel. I'm your local chef, Vine Nogu. If you're here for the first time, you're not in the wrong place. You're in the right place. If you want to learn how to cook and you've not tried it before, you're also in the right place. If you're a professional cook and you think you're in the wrong place, no, welcome, because we are going to learn from your experience also. And if you always believe that cooking is reserved for women, man, you're wrong, because I'm here to prove you wrong. So welcome to Like Father, Like Son. We cook together. Yeah, we cook together. We cook together. Today we are going to cook Oha soup. Oha soup is a popular delicacy in Igbo land. You can use any type of swallow to eat it. That's apple, wheat, gari, and co. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to cook it for the first time. On this channel, every meal we cook is for the first time. I've not tried this thing before. So I'm trying it for the first time. So come, 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 let's do it together. For the hash soup, we need to shop for our ingredients. Um, if you missed my previous session of how to shop for ingredients, you can always check it at the comment section on the link. Okay, so for this Oha soup, Oha soup, you see how I'm calling it? Oha soup, the number one ingredient that we need to get for this Oha soup is our Oha leaf. We have to first find our oha leaf. Oha leaf is what makes oha soup special. That vegetable is what makes it unique. So we need to first get that particular vegetable that is called oha. And it's rare, it's not common. It's not common. That's why this soup is very special and peculiar to the Igbos. We have to pick out the oha leaf with our hands and also cut it with our hands. So that's what makes it unique. You don't need to use a knife to slice it. You have to cut it like you're pinching it with your fingers. Then after that, we'll also get our palm oil, our okuroko, that stock fish, and other spices we need to put. So the next ingredient we'll need for this uha soup is our protein. It all depends on your budget. You can add as many protein as you like. But for me, these are the types I like. So I like when I'm eating, there are obstacles in my food. Then we'll need a thickener. Uh, for this, I'm going to use or for now that our hot leaf is ready, the next thing we have to do is to prepare our soup stock. For detailed video of how to prepare your soup stock, visit this link, you'll see it there. Step by step, how you prepare your soup stock. <laughs> So now that our stock is ready, we're going to add palm oil, our thickener, and other spices to bring out the taste we want. At this final stage, we're going to wash the oha leaf and then put it in the soup. Just put it, put it, put it, put it. Oha is ready! So who is hungry? Who is hungry? Who is hungry? We are hungry. Let's go and have a feel of what it tastes like. <laughs> So thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video and you've learned something. So this is how to prepare Oha soup. Leave us a comment, like, and share. But don't forget, please, I beg you, subscribe. Next week, you have another fresh video from me teaching you something interesting again. 
I'm your host, your local chef, Vinylogo.